since it is by faith that the righteous man lives, the arrogant Chaldean, whose soul is puffed up and not straight within him, cannot but be destined to destruction. The whole drift of the broader context bears out this meaning, for throughout this prophecy the Chaldean is ever exhibited as the type of insolent self-assertion, chapter 1, verses 7, 11, and 16, in contrast with which the righteous appear certainly not as men of integrity and steadfast faithfulness, but as men who look in faith to God and trusting depend upon his arm. The obvious reminiscence of Genesis 15 verse 6 throws its weight into the same scale to which may be added the consent of the Jewish expositors of the passage. Here we have therefore thrown into a clear light the contrasting characteristics of the wicked typified by the Chaldean and of the righteous. Of the one the fundamental trait is self-sufficiency, of the other faith. This faith which forms the distinctive feature of the righteous man by which he obtains life is obviously no mere assent. 